and unbuckle five years ago to the day yesterday. Our first day was Bahama Breeze. We walked up and I remember looking at the picture and she looked beautiful, but in person I was just like, wow. It was a real beauty. There was a couple at the bar. The husband, he was like, you're gonna marry that girl. He just straight up told me, and this is a real true story. And then I was like, what? And he's like, you're gonna marry that girl. My wife said that. And I felt the same way. Like, I, I came home and I told her. I told my family, you know, I'm gonna marry this girl. I knew I wanted to spend my life with him, or at least that he was going to be around for a super long time after our first kiss. So it was like the second, third date. We were at a bar, loud, cozy bar, and it was that cliche first kiss that time stopped moving, there wasn't anyone around. As soon as it stopped, I was like, whoa. <laughs> I'd say that's what I do. <laughs> My favorite thing about her is definitely her, her fire, you know what I mean, what drives her. She's very strong, you know, she stands behind what she believes is right, and, and she always pushes me to do better. He's very goofy, he's always joking around in a great mood, and then his, he's very forgiving. He's very easily forgiving. He can't hold a grudge at all. Today I look forward to marrying my best friend, spending the rest of my life with her, you know, building a family. I think that's amazing. It's that first look as I'm walking down the aisle, that's what's giving me like butterflies. <laughs> Welcome, friends and family. We are here today to celebrate the love that Nestor and Catherine have for each other. I, Nestor, take you, Catherine. I, Catherine, take you, Nestor, to be my husband, my constant friend, my faithful partner, and my love from this day forward, in sickness and in health, good times and in love, and in joy as well as sorrow. I promise to love you unconditionally, to support your goals, to honor and respect you, to laugh with you, to cry with you, and to cherish you. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't skip to the end yet. <laughs> You've just given your hearts completely to one another. By the virtue of the authority vested in me, I witness and affirm your union and love. I pronounce that you are now husband and wife. <laughs> this is your bride. <laughs> I remember he told me after that this is the girl he's gonna marry. He said that she was beautiful. And if you know Nestor, what he actually said was she's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> he said that she was smart, that she was successful, that she was funny, and that she could handle his sarcasm. There's a few things that he left out though. One, she could rap ludicrous better than anybody I know. 
She can handle her whiskey better than most men. Definitely Nestor. I want to share one more thing about Nestor. Uh, it's actually a nickname that I gave him, and it's Lil Bit Mo. And it's because Nestor refuses to take no for an answer, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how he got Catherine. All right, just ask for a little bit more dates. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I want to say, when you're running out of patience for each other, remember to have a little bit more. <laughs> and when you feel like you're showing up for your partner and being the support that they need, give them a little bit more. And when you feel like you're doing enough, to do a little bit more. So if everybody could raise their glass and wishing Mr. and Mrs. Citrus Mon, a little bit more help, a little bit more love, Thank you.